Yo, welcome back. This is the second video in my tutorial series for beginners in Comfy UI. If you need to, go ahead and watch that first video. What we did was went over um, a little bit how to get started with Comfy UI, explaining the interface a bit, how to add nodes, and eventually we built a, a full text to image workflow, the default workflow that you see when you open Comfy UI. In this video, we're going to continue our creative journey, but spice it up a little bit. Instead of text to image, we're going to do image to image. What image to image is, is when you take an image and use it as input and modify it with the model in interesting ways. And there's a million ways that you can modify images using uh, the power of Comfy UI. And this one, we're going to keep it relatively simple, but it's still really cool. So without further ado, let's start at the beginning. And we're going to use, we're going to pick up right where we left off in the first video using that default workflow. If you don't want to go back and watch the first video, just use the default workflow and, and uh, follow along. Okay, here's our trusty text to image workflow that we made in the previous video. Before we continue with converting it to an image to image workflow, I'm going to briefly go over the settings of this case sampler, which I neglected to do in the first video. The seed controls the randomness of the generation. If you have the same seed and the same settings elsewhere in the workflow, it will produce the same output. However, if you change the value of the seed, it can have a relatively drastic effect on the output. Nothing about the quality, but just the randomness of it. Control after generate refers to controlling the seed after we generate an image. So it's by default set to randomize. So if I were to click this Q button, it would immediately generate a random value in this widget for the next generation. The steps refers to the number of sampling steps taken during the generation process. Higher number of sampling steps can produce uh, more detail, maybe better quality images, but will definitely increase the time it takes to generate those images. CFG refers to the uh, degree to which the model adheres to the prompt. Higher values will make it adhere to the prompt more, but will reduce the potential creativity that the model has. The sampler and scheduler, and in this case, I'm, I should mention actually, I'm using a very low CFG setting. And that is because of this model that I happen to have available on my local machine requires this sampler and this scheduler. But generally speaking, this, this value would be a little bit higher. Speaking of this sampler and the scheduler, these can affect the uh, some of the details and the sharpness uh, and also the speed of your generation. Some models, like the one I'm using, require or recommend certain combinations of samplers and schedulers. The denoise, which is very important for this image-to-image -image workflow we're about to create, controls the uh, strength of the denoising process and the, the lower the value, the more of the input image will make it through into the output. So now that we know a little bit more about the K samplers settings, let's convert this to image to image. So as we know from the first video, everything, all this magic happens in the so-called latent space. And for text to image, we're using an empty latent, but for image to image, we're going to put in a latent of this. We can just continue with our red dress experiment here. So I just right, right clicked on this preview image and copied it and then did control V on my keyboard to paste it here so I could quickly get this image, but you might use a load image node here instead. I've backed up for a second because what we're going to do here is mix a prompt with an input image. So we have our familiar prompt here from the default workflow and the familiar galaxy bottle output. And we've got the fixed seed. And the only thing we're going to change now is using this as the input. So we need to encode our image into the latent space. And we do that with our VAE. So I'm going to drag that and drop it, select VAE encode, connect our image and connect the latent. And I'm going to go ahead and run that. So the denoise value is very high. It's at the maximum value of one. 
So we should not expect to see much of the input image in the output. It's probably still just going to be a purple bottle. Yep, there we go. Okay, so let's try lowering it a little bit to like maybe like 0.63 and see what happens. So now we should get 37% of the input image in our output yet mixed with this prompt. So let's see what we get. There we go. So we got a woman, a lot of the characteristics of the woman. She's still wearing a dress, but it's now a galaxy dress. Very interesting. So just for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and turn this down to zero just to really drive the point home and see, see what we're talking about here. You just get the woman in the red dress. So this is your most basic image to image workflow. We went from, you know, from an, an image of a woman in a red dress to a different image of a, of a woman in a galaxy bottle dress or whatever. So let's try one more value and you can see how, how fun it can be just literally changing this one setting in Comfy UI. So a little bit too high, we went back to bottle mode, but you can see that it's, she has black, black hair. It made the cap of the bottle black, just really, really fun. A uh, really, really fun thing you can do here. I, I, I end up doing it for, for way too long. So that's going to cover it for this video. We went over how to convert, or we went over first the settings available in this K sampler and what they do in, in a basic sense. We went over how to uh, convert our text to image workflow to an image to image workflow. And we went over the importance uh, and power of adjusting the, the denoise level on the K sampler. So I hope you found this informative. S stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do some even cooler stuff. Uh, I, I hope you found this informative. And uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Oh, like the video, comment, all that stuff. Okay, I'm Ryan. Bye-bye.